I'm good. I'm not in the mood to go to Beamers tonight. I got a lot of work to do anyway. Y'all go ahead and y'all go without me. No, no. Believe me. I'm, I'm good. Oh, I'm going to have to call you back, okay? I'm about to go to lunch, all right? All right. Bye. These have is trying to get me to go to the club. Excuse me. I properly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Sandra Davis, and I am a happily single, independent black woman. And I'm single by choice. Now, if I wanted to go and I want to hook up with somebody, I have a list of standards. Number one, he has to be at least six four and above. I need to be able to look up at him and hold him and grab him. Ain't nothing better than a tall, strong, muscular, dark chocolate man. Mm, mm. Yeah, okay, anyways. I can't be having no scrub up in my house talking about, baby, let me hold $5. No, fuck that. Hold your own damn $5. Number three, I have to be with a man that is college educated. Number four, he has to be very God oriented. I go to IBOC every Sunday at 11 o'clock service and I attend Bible study every Wednesday at 8 o'clock very promptly. And fifth, the thing that I need him to do is I need him to be family oriented. You see, I come from a large family. I got 13 brothers and I got six sisters. Yes, yes, just like the TLC show, except for this is real fucking life. Anyway. It's time for me to take my lunch. So, unless there is some tall, dark, God-oriented, college-educated, fine, tall man, I'm not gonna be booed up with anybody. inviting you in my office? I don't even know you like it. Well, uh, my name is Sharon. Just thought I'd come, by and come down here and join you for lunch. You going to lunch? I'm going to lunch? Well, Sharon, that's great and all that you were informed that I was going to lunch, but I'm going to lunch by myself. And what's the problem? I can't join you for lunch? Uh, are you going to eat? I'm going to eat. We can eat together. No. Hey, hey, all right, so I'm sorry. I, I didn't introduce myself, you know, properly. I'm designing your room. Uh, I work on the fourth floor, uh, executive marketing. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Cindy was, uh, I, I figured she had, you know, properly gave you information about me and who I was. Uh, I don't know what what happened with that communication. I mean, we was talking, we've been talking about communication, so what, I guess she didn't relay that properly. She was the one that told me that you had, you know, what time you was going to lunch and everything. So I just wanted to come down and just didn't kind of join, kind of talk about the direction you wanted to go with the marketing. But but if you're going with your husband, and you, you know, Whatever like that, you know, I'm not trying to start anything, you know. Actually, I'm single. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, that's even better. So, uh, let's go talk about that marketing um, direction. Sure. Let's go. Welcome back to the office. Uh, oh, sure. Crazy. Get comfortable. Okay. Since you're the executive of marketing and direction, you make what about eight thousand dollars a year? Uh, no, that's actually where I started off at. I actually make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Oh, a hundred thousand dollars a year. Oh, that that's that's nice. That's that's really nice. Well, do you have any family that lives in this area? I actually do. Uh, my mom and my sister stays here. I just actually, I just took 
my mom and my sister to dinner uh, the other night um, after church. You know, and I kind of, kind of traditionally we kind of do that. We kind of go out every week. I try to do something for my mom every weekend. So, you know, I uh, had a wonderful prayer service. Really? You you go to church? Do you go every Sunday? Yeah, I go, go every Sunday. That's that's a must. You no, know, mom mom been put that. She, mm -hmm. she instilled that in me early. Oh really? Okay, so he's not 6'4", but he works on the fourth floor, so I can still look up at him. Ladies, forget everything that I said about these standards. It's okay to have a basic list of requirements, but let's think about this. If you're constantly adding on things to your list that you know that no man can fulfill, then how is that going to work out for you? Always keep a basic set of standards. Don't do anything outrageous that you know that can't no man in this earth fulfill. Believe me, ladies, Obama is taken and Jesus never married. So sometimes it, it really doesn't hurt to, you know, either cut off your list, cut down your list, revise your list. Anyways, do what it is that you have to do. Also, you know, with all of our lists and all these requirements that we make, you know, you might miss out on something that's either in front of you or works on the fourth floor. <laughs>